the beast from the east is back. And with it have come plunging temperatures and heavy snowfall. In Woodbridge in Suffolk, Alistair Shaw was the last person to get his COVID vaccine before the doors shut due to the weather. I was due in this afternoon at 4.30 um, and I just took the risk because the weather was getting so bad that I thought, well, right, that's it, I'm coming in. Others arrived for their jabs not knowing the centre had closed. Um, well, it's this country all the time, it doesn't matter, you know. That's uh, just how it is. I can't, you know, I'm not worried about it. I'm retired, so I can come down whenever I like. I'm not really bothered. I'm a bit disappointed, well, a lot disappointed that they didn't send a text, because that's pretty easy, isn't it, to everyone? Storm Darcy has left vast swathes of the east and southeast of England beneath a blanket of snow, as the Met Office extended its amber weather warning for the area to Monday afternoon. And it's not just snow to worry about near gale force gusts turning the sea at Felixstowe wild. It's strong biting winds from Russia and Eastern Europe that have caused temperatures to plummet, making it feel like minus nine or ten. But it's not expected to improve until later in the week. A yellow weather warning for snow is in place for the entire eastern flank of the UK for days to come. We don't tend to get really cold conditions like this very often. The last time was three years ago in 2018 when we had the Beast from the East and this event this, uh, this week is being called Beast from the East Part 2. So similar conditions to what we had three years ago. It doesn't happen that often. It is winter, but it is going to be exceptionally cold this week with temperatures not getting much of a freezing during the daytime. In Ipswich, nine gritters headed out at the start of a 12-hour shift to try to keep the county's roads moving. Thankfully, most drivers had heeded the warning to stay home. But there were those determined to brave the blizzards. In Lydon in Kent, sledges found a different way to get their daily exercise. This lockdown, I think, has been a lot harder um, because the weather's been lousy. Whereas the last lockdown, we had the nice weather, kids could get out in the garden, we could go for long walks because we've got a dog. Um, but this time it's been really hard because the weather's been miserable. So this isn't miserable, this is just great. While some trains are still running, southern and southeastern rail services have faced severe disruption, some of which will stretch into Monday. It all makes life hard for those who still need to head to work. But for those with time to spare, it's a welcome diversion from the monotony of lockdown. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Suffolk.